Three. Ron Settles, a college football player. Geronimo Pr Pratt, a former Black Panther. Michael Jackson, the former pop singer. And O.J. Simpson, the former football player. What do all of these people have in common? At one point in their lives, they all got in trouble with the law. And when they needed somebody to stand up for them in court, there was one person that did it. Johnny Cochran, the law legend. When I was researching legal professionals for a college paper, Johnny Cochran blew me away. I saw a fearless, controversial, determined individual who would stop at nothing to win a case. He fought for the little guys, the celebrities, and the athletes, and always gave 100% into every case. By the end of my speech, not only should you know more about some of his most controversial cases, but hopefully respect him a little bit more for what he's accomplished because of them. In 1966, one of his first cases in his own law firm dealt with racism and police abuse head on. A young black man named Leonard Deadwilder was in the car with his pregnant wife on the way to the hospital when he was pulled over, shot, and killed by a Los Angeles police officer. Johnny Cochran argued to the courts that this was needless brutality and defended Deadwilder's family. These cases were not easy to win at the time, and he did lose, but this did prove that police abuse against the minority community would draw a lot of attention. In 1970, Cochran focused on defending his race while taking a case with Geronimo Pratt, a former Black Panther, who was accused of murder. He lost again, but ins he insisted on a retrial, stating that the FBI and local police were railroading his client. Johnny Cochran made a huge impact in the black community and in the court. He decided to take a position as a Los Angeles County District Attorney, and not long after, he was pulled over by a Los Angeles police officer with his two daughters in the car. They drew their guns and yelled at them to get out of the car, and then proceeded to perform an illegal search and seizure. While doing this, they found his District Attorney badge, and not until then did they stop, apologize, and change their hostile approach. In the 1980s and 90s, his two most controversial cases involved Michael Jackson, who was accused of molesting a young boy, and O.J. Simpson's murder trial. We still talk about these ones today. He won both of the cases, and both of them drew a lot of attention. Because of the cases I've mentioned, we all know who Johnny Cochran was. He was, his fearless approach helped minorities gain momentum against their uphill battle against City Hall. Johnny Cochran cared about his cases and didn't hold prejudice against who he was defending. I hope now you all see what I see and think a little bit more of him for what he's done.